What is up guys, Orange now and you're welcome back to another episode on of course Casino Boy Chronicles 3. In the last episode, we of course made our way through um we of course made our way through Yui's side story and of course we fought X and Mobius L. And we also um happened to um know what happened to Colony 5. It appears to have been wrecked. So we're gonna take a look around this area around the black fog, uh with with of course short fire side. Uh, since, of course, this area does um, come up if you happen to continue on the way uh, through the Orion Trail, so we're going to see what's um, beyond this point. depending on um, how they play, I guess. And, whoa, hello there, buddy. Don't try to stop us. I can do this with my eyes closed. Stop that. I you about to say that. Rest easy now. Whoa, check this place out. I think you operate it like so. All right. Okay. That's it. There we go. nearby. See what's inside. Come on, show. Ah, the token fell over again. I'll take that. Thank you. There's a there's a whole lot of turkey in here. I'll claim the ether here. Huh? 
Dapper Sapphire, that guy just appeared out of nowhere. I know. Gotta pull my weight too. It is the Monada's power. So that's what the cave was for. Huh, it fell over again? Mine for the taking. What's inside? Shadow mask.
forgotten supplies. I wonder what's inside. Add more names. We recently bought go to sell food to Angry and Soldier, but there are many more than before. Me thinks they need large numbers because looking for someone. Think we can take this guy on? No, not yet.
switching, guys. I can't believe we've actually found it. Looks mo looks like monster territory, but it should be fine if this is all the way through it and this is all we're contending with. Now let's get to it. orders. We were going through old logs and came across a container that was never found. What a coincidence. We'll be taking back what you found. So hand it over nicely. You have two you have two tanks. Well what will we do? Discuss the matter or hand it over? Let's discuss the matter. What should we do? That's a good question. Time's up. Ah, oh, great. Hey, hey, hey! You got to kill me. We're both dead me now. Enough! Ugh. 
you were going to take this back to Colony 99, to Colony 99 anyway, right? Why don't you take care of that then? Say hi to Camilla for us. Okay, we have other places to check out. Let's find them. let's find the next one, Sharkfish. <laughs> ah, that Eastman book. Let's see what's in this container then. I see some relations have changed. I'll need a hand here. Okay. This is what we were after. That takes care of that. There's something up here.
It's one of these guys again from from Future McGee. Oh, that's his. <laughs>
Magano. There we go. Fox from coming in by a lot lately. It's also really helped to reduce the amount of soldiers making stupid requests to Camilla. Hey Camilla, we have supplies that Colony Man can use. Wow, there's so much, thank you. Did you find this? This is great. It must have been hard to get a hold of. We had a little disagreement with Eastman over it. Well, him, he's not a bad guy, you know. Anyway, thanks again. Did you, hear the gro did you hear the ghosts? Eastman and Lenny have been butting heads again. That's an unusual match. Eastman lashed out for idiot reasons. Didn't like Lenny keeping secrets or something. Not, not one for patience, is he? What sort of secrets was Lenny keeping? I don't know if he talked to us, but it can't hurt to try if you're worried. Right. Shared secrets. Required, he required hero, Gray. Right then, strategy meeting. Gray's autonomy. Gray, you came from the city, don't you? You come from the city, don't you? Yeah. No need to be so standish, so standoffish, mate. You're allowed to talk, you know. Don't usually bother with trivial stuff. So you have a wife, don't you? 
Do you want to go and see her? Fine, either way. Come on, that's no good. She'll want to see you. You can always drop in while you're giving your report for the lost numbers. Oh yeah, you kept all about the lost numbers quiet, didn't you? I told you I don't talk about unimportant stuff. I cannot believe this bloke. Let's have it out then. Proposal, let's go and see this wife of yours. I'm taking your size as a yes. Good luck to you, let's go. Lovebirds. So we heard you had a run-in with Eastman. That news reached you even you a lot, did it? So you've come to visit me because you're worried. Well, no need. It wasn't anything big. I was asking Elias a favor. Eastman happened to show up looking for me, and when I snubbed him, he got a bit ticked off, so to speak. Asking Elias a favor, huh? Oh, just something to do with Colony with Colony Knight's future. Can we ask what it is? Yeah, I could definitely share it with you. I was thinking about my dead tea, man. I remember that Marlon had said something about finding some gear that it didn't come from Agnes or Kevis. We might be able to use it for Colony 9, right? Unknown military equipment might hold useful secrets. I thought Elis would be able to go looking for it in Elevenus, so I asked. Sounds mysterious. I wonder. Yeah, it's probably from the Lost Numbers. We should check it out. If that's the case, you can meet up with Elis. Let me send you the coordinates to your iris. Appreciate it. No, don't surprise me like that. Have you been talking to Lenny? Got it in one. So this is the thing. Yep. Definitely lost numbers, great. Definitely lost numbers gear. Something tells me you know something about it. I was looking into it before you came. There's nothing usable in it, nor there are any clues as to who it belongs to. I see. At any rate, it's so mysterious I don't want to let it go, so I'm going to report it to Warrell. Good plan. Can't just leave this stuff here either. Should we bury it again? Hmm, wait, isn't this... Mysterious key card. We should report this to Lenny. Huh, would you believe it? So how did it go? We managed to confirm that it's from the city. It belonged to the lost numbers. I don't think that I don't think it's really what you were hoping for. I see. Oh well. We brought back what was left there, just in case. I don't really know how to use it, but maybe I could find out if it but maybe if I if I could find out Maybe I could find out if I went to where the soldier who had it came from. Here, you should take this. You sure about this? Yeah. Thanks for the help, I appreciate it. I guess I should go and straighten things out with the Eastman. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea.
You've got to take regular breaks. So, so a word on the grabbing has it that Agnes and Kevin's patrols are on the rise. Yeah, now you mention it, they've been all over the place lately. Hmm, it's conceivable that if we act conspicuously, the nation's troops will be placed on high alert. And destroying Flame Fox seems pretty conspicuous, con seems pretty conspicuous, all things considered. Indeed, I doubt the councils, I doubt the consuls would overlook such regular alerts. So we might expect more vigilance from them, more reinforcements. Right, makes sense, I suppose. But releasing colonies from their flame cocks can't be all bad. For sure, it gained us the cooperation of their people, for one. It's had it's had its benefits that much is indisputable. So long story short, we've just gotta we just we just gotta up the end like what our pals are doing. Absolutely, we can't afford to slip up. Fine, I'm sure Fox Neos will solve the food the food shortage soon enough. And now we know things. You know, you've got to take regular breaks. Right then, strategy meeting. People in Colony 9 really aren't happy with the current food situation. Even now they're released from the flame clock, this is all they whine this is all they whine about. And it'll take time for Xeon's fields to yield a harvest. It, pro it probably isn't just Kai who's worried about the shortage. If we let it go on as they are, one day things will explode. Hmm. This has probably occurred to you all, but you mean the fact that Fox is playing something idiotic? Right. I think. I think he might be planning to raid some of the neighboring colonies. How could he? Sparks, I don't suppose a good punch in the mouth would convince him. I hope we're in time to stop him. Is Kite involved? If he is, then this whole thing gets even bigger and messier. He's always looking out for the rank and file, so they absolutely adore him. I see. Maybe Camilla knows something. She's the same term as Fox, and they've been all buddy-buddy lately. Do you think she's mixed up in this as well? We'll never know without hearing what she has to say. A difficult transition. Let's move up. Fox? Uh, Noah, uh, Noah, sorry about that. I was miles away. I was just a little worried about Fox. I haven't seen him today. Actually, if you have time, could you find Fox at the canteen and tell him I want to see him? Sorry to take up your time. Let me know if you, there's anything What you got? Come again. Let's find the canteen. Uh -huh. Today? What? We're not joining at the hip like we're not joining at the hip like you lot. Oh yeah? Alright, pack it in. We didn't come for a scrap. For queen's sake. So, have you got business with Fox? We just heard something something a little troubling, that's all. Hmm. He went together a hunting party. Hunting? Do you know where he was going? I don't know the details. Oh, but he probably went to check the the, the Malneth's shoulder route. Wait, but across Malneth's shoulder from here, that's... This won't end well. If we take his destination as the colony nearest to Malneth's shoulder, and he's almost certainly heading to Colony Gamma. What? We have to go after him. What? What are you talking about? 
There they are. Fox! It's you! You can't attack other colonies. You can't attack other colonies. So you heard, huh? If you're going to try to get in my way, then get ready for a real fight. Come on! Fox! Get more haters! Attack another colony. The shortages have been causing trouble back at the colony, right? And who is bearing the brunt of that unrest? The guys at the commissary. I understand being worried about the future, but Camilla's lot shouldn't be the ones who deal with all that crap. So you were trying to protect her. We'll be working with you to improve the situation too. Talk is cheap, but. I'll be waiting to see what happens. What a faff. There he is! Hey, Fox! Well, look who's come to see you. Let's go back, shall we? Yeah. if there are any more rumors, if not, we'll end off the episode. Oh, there is. Haven't seen Kai and the others around these past few days. Didn't you hear it? They got into a war of wards with Xeon, then stormed out of the colony. kite has been having issues with how Xeon's been doing things for a while. He may very well not come back. Kite's gone missing. I'm starving. Got anything I can eat? Right then, strategy meeting. Kite left Colony Nine with a few soldiers in tow. Oh, uh, what? What's this little dip think he's doing? Why would he? Agnes military activity was confirmed near Malik Meadows. Opinion was divided over how to deal with it. You're saying he's headed over there? Surely even he doesn't think he can wreck a colony with so few people. The Agnes colony is advanced, but the scouts are reporting that they seem to be retreating from something. That's what Kaiden and I judge to be the case anyway, that's why he... <sighs> now people are unsure whether, on whether to ally ourselves with the colony that has the Agnian army on the run. I've told the scouts to look for Kai too. Problem is, he seems to have gone to ground somewhere. No one can find him, nor hair of him. I don't know which colony this is, but the only ones fighting the war now are the ones allied with the castle. Meeting colonies run by Mobius. What's your plan, Zeon? I want to find Kite before he puts himself in danger. Will you help? I suppose we've got to. I suppose we've got to know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but what are we meant to do if we don't know where he is? Kai has plenty of friends among the soldiers of Colony Nine. 
If we ask around, we might turn something up. Speaking of fo speaking of, Fox still remains in Colony. What? He didn't go along with the others? He might know where they went. Good thinking. I imagine we'll find him at the canteen. They are always smooching around there. Let's go and talk to him. For Colony 9. cave near the old Ferranus Hulk at Malik Maladus. We've stored supplies in there so it could be used as a hideout in an emergency. He could be in there. I'll send the I'll send the yours. Thanks. We'll see if he's there. Void. Weird. Really going in here? So tight, Let's just try talking to him. Commander, there's Kai in there. I need to speak with him. This way. Oh, what are you doing here? Planning on paying any other colonies a visit? The friendly army is still fighting those Agnes guys. They need our help. Colony 9 will be fine as long as you're around. So you're not going back? I thought you wanted to be the big shot commander. We need results. We need to know that we can survive using our own methods. You guys are all about empty lip service. It's rob or be robbed out here. What do you change by repeating the same thing over and over, switching between robber and robbed? It doesn't make sense to aim just to survive this moment. That won't fix the root of the problem. But that's how we've always lived. You don't understand us, Noah. You really think you are hollow gestures? You, you really think your hollow gestures are going to fix Colony Nine? You're right. Which is why you need to help us change things. What? I can't do this alone. I need you, Kite. That's not fair. It's not like you ever listen to anything I say. Huh? Ah, help! Uh-oh. What's going on? Kite, the Agnes army is- the Agnes army is here. They're attacking! Why now, Sparks and Ashes? Engage the enemy. You lot- we're from Colony 9 too. Yeah, obviously we're going to pitch in. Thank us later. Let's go. There we go. Ah! Stop this! 
Hey, what are you doing? There's no need to kill anyone. Go on, get the snuff out of here. If we don't kill them, they're only gonna come back here. And you best be someplace else, in it. Huh. <sighs> Chemist soldiers. That sound was that. Hey, listen. We're from Colony Nine. Why were these Agnians still standing? Huh? Why? Colony Nine. You're the ones that betrayed the castle. I don't think I like these guys. I guess we're doing this then. Hey! They're from Kevis. Can we really fight our own soldiers? Kevis Fucker! everyone's against us and it's all your fault how can we survive like this and that's why we need you so much kite what otherwise our forces will take a hit kite you know i'll go anywhere with you so we will at least listen to what zeon has to say you must be curious agonizing over it always is just time just listen for five ticks and make up your mind whatever happened to those failed fields of yours anyway the results aren't great. It takes time and patience to find crops suitable for the soil. I thought today would be a failure too. Challenging the unknown isn't easy. That's why I was so resistant. You don't understand us. But I understand you, Kite. What? When things fall apart, I take full responsibility. So there has to be someone to replace me as the person who supports everyone. And that's me? Col Colony 9 must feel the same way. Will you support me? them. Will you support me? Support them together? You're the only person I can ask. Okay. Five tickets are up. I'll help you until we find a better alternative to your plan. And bear responsibility to us, the future commander. Very well then. Thank you. Then it's settled. For now, at least. All right, let's get back to Colony 9. Quest complete. So that's the state of affairs. Alright guys, we're gonna stop here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.